Now, just before I begin doing this, it's always really important that you start off looking at a question and think, how would I even begin doing this? What strategy might I take? What ideas sort of jump out? I have a few ideas. Uh, I can think of at least two ways to do this question. I don't know which, because I haven't started yet, I don't know which is the best way. Does anyone have any ideas at all how they might begin? Any thoughts? Hmm. This is sort of a good sign. It's a good sign that we're doing this question because we've got to have an idea where to start. Um, let me give a suggestion. See these two pieces of information that begin, right? When you see a vertex, just like with linear equations, we know there are lots of ways to state the equation of a parabola. Same parabola, and I can state its equation in a variety of different forms. One of the forms is geared toward the vertex, right? In fact, it's a form that's on the reference sheet. I don't know if any of you remember it. Um, in in Locke's parabola form, it'd be something like this, right? Uh, x minus, I think they usually use h squared, equals um, 4a times y minus K. So H and K are going to be the coordinates of the vertex, right? Now, you do have to be careful because if we didn't know this, then I can't just state this right away, okay? Um, in fact, I still need to be careful with it. I'll tell you why in a second. Um, if, for example, I had changed the question and made the axis parallel to the x-axis, right? So this is a sideways parabola. It might be concave left or it might be concave right. Um, how would I change this equation? Because this would never give you such a parabola. What would I do to adjust it? Switch the x and y. Yeah, very good. So if I swap these guys around, if I swap the variables, I'll get a left-right parabola instead of an up-down. Okay? There is one more thing you have to be cautious for, which is that uh, we already just said that h and k are the coordinates of the vertex. What's a? What's a? Very good. So it's the focal length, which is why this is in, um, it's in locus form. So you're talking about the focal length and the focus and the directrix. Um, it's customary to say that A is greater than zero because it's a length. Okay? I have noticed, I'm not that much of a fan of it, but it's, it's happened. In some of the questions, um, they actually let A be negative. We don't usually like to do that. Um, if we wanted a parabola that was concave down, Instead of making a negative, which would do that, we would actually put a minus sign at the front because we try, we're trying to preserve the fact that a is meant to be a length. It's got this quality. But anyhow, we can leave that out for now because I do not know yet whether this will be concave up or concave down. Okay? So I've got to start. Any ideas where I might go from there? I mean, I can put the numbers in. I can go like this, x minus 3 squared for a y plus 1. Okay, I can do that. I've used uh, these two pieces of information. How will I use this? How will I use that? So um, when you see tangent, gradient is a good place for your mind to go, but how will I use that? I mean, this parabola has every gradient possible somewhere, so what could I do? Hmm. Now, um, one of the things I love about this topic is that so much of it is visual. A lot of stuff is hard to, like when it's just, I like to call it algebra soup. It's like, I, I don't know, it's just symbols flying around everywhere. You don't have to rely on just the symbols. You can draw yourself a picture and that's very, very instructive. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and draw something like this. I don't know what it looks like exactly, but I'm gonna try. And I'm also gonna draw this, because that's, that's obviously quite an important feature. It's not in a form at the moment that's nice to graph, so I'm just gonna rearrange it ever so slightly. If I put it into slope intercept form, what will it be? It's not that hard. Um, minus 4x plus 7. Very good. Okay, now I know what that looks like. All right, so um, grab a, like a red pen or whatever, draw me a set of axes. And all this is going to be is a rough sketch to get a handle on what is going on and think about how we can use that to solve the question. y equals minus 4x plus 7. Where's that going to go? Minus 4x plus 7. I would say it's something like this, I guess. Would you agree with that? That's sort of the shape that you're getting. Um, it's got its, its, you know, its, its intercept up there at 7, and it's negative 4. It's very, very steep, okay, um, in the negative direction. 
When I'm trying to work out where this parabola is, all I know about it is its vertex and its, the direction it's facing. So where would 3, negative 1 fit in this? Um, if that's 7 and I've got a gradient of uh, minus 4, then I think this coordinate here is going to be, let me think, uh, 7 on 4, isn't it? 7 on 4 is like 1 and a half? No, 1 and 3 quarters. 1 and 3 quarters. So there's 1 and 3 quarters. I'm pointing out that it's 1 and 3 quarters because I want to know where it is in relation to that guy. Right? So 3 is, is sort of further over, so let's put 3 around there. Um, negative 1 won't be all that far down. Something like this. Okay? So that guy's the vertex. Now this is really, really useful because just by drawing this, I now know not just that it's concave up and down, not left and right, I now know which one it is. Is it up or is it down? Have a look. It has to be up. Can you see that? I didn't actually, I really, I literally didn't know that until I drew that. Because you can see, like, there's no way to draw a concave down parabola such that this really is a tangent. Um, it didn't have to be concave up, though. I could have put the vertex somewhere else, and I would have come to the opposite conclusion. For instance, suppose they had said, hey, your vertex is over here. If the vertex were there, do you see you can't draw a concave up parabola? It's just going to, it'll blow through that line. It'll, there's no way it can be a tangent, okay? So do you see how putting something down, even a rough drawing, helps you to reason through what's going on? So good for us. We've got a concave up parabola. I'm just going to draw it, so I get a rough idea. Something, I guess, uh, that's fine. It's just, it's only meant to be a rough sketch, okay? So now I need to set about thinking about how I use this and this together. Um, to show that, to, to find the exact value of a. That's all it's missing, right? All that is missing is a.